Hey guys, it's Josh from Mexi. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to talk about liquidity. If you've ever asked anybody what liquidity is, probably struggled to give you a clear answer. However, liquidity is not only one of the core concepts of trading, but it's also a good way to measure the health of the crypto market as a whole. So it's important for us to understand what liquidity is and how it works. That's exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. But before I start, there's a discount going on. Scan the QR code on the screen or find the link in the description of the video to sign up on Mexi and you'll get 20% off all of your trades. All right, let's get started. So what is liquidity? Ask a trader about liquidity and he'll tell you it refers to how easily an asset can be bought or sold without affecting its price. In simple terms, liquidity describes how quickly and easily you can sell off an asset as close to your asking price as possible. A market with higher liquidity levels makes it easier for buyers and sellers to find other traders and make transactions at the prices they prefer. Conversely, lower liquidity might make it hard to complete transactions, thus increasing the bid-ask spread. But how do you know if an asset is liquid or illiquid? A liquid asset can be converted into cash easily without affecting the price. Conversely, an asset can be considered illiquid if it can't be bought or sold quickly. Or it can also be considered illiquid if the transactions have a significant effect on its price. For example, cash can be considered the most liquid asset since it can easily be converted into other assets. But a house can be considered illiquid because it takes a lot of time and effort to negotiate the price between the buyer and the seller. Do you know what is the most liquid asset in the world of crypto? The answer is stablecoins, specifically the biggest ones. Much of the trading volume in the cryptocurrency market is done in stablecoins, which makes them very liquid. So let's jump into how to understand liquidity. When talking about liquidity, there are two different areas to consider. Liquidity assets and liquidity markets. A liquid asset is an asset that can be easily converted into cash. And a liquid market is one in which there are plenty of investors that are willing to trade. What does this relate to cryptocurrencies? As you probably know, cryptocurrency prices always change pretty quickly. To ensure you can maximize profits, you need to be able to move in and out of the market quickly without any price cut or waiting for too long for the trade to be executed. Let's take an example from a seller's point of view. We plan to sell 10 Bitcoin at the current market price. If the market is liquid, there will be plenty of buyers willing to buy Bitcoin at the price that we're asking, and our trade will be fulfilled immediately. What's more is this trade won't affect the Bitcoin price, as there's sufficient liquidity in the market. If the market is illiquid or has low liquidity, then the market will not have enough buyers willing to pay the Bitcoin price that we're asking. In that case, we could lower our asking price, or use limit orders to be able to sell our Bitcoins. But in such a illiquid or low liquidity market, then our sale of 10 Bitcoin will also affect the current market price of Bitcoin. All right, that's it for today's video. It's just a really quick explanation of what liquidity means. But if you're interested in the topic, we're going to be posting more videos about liquidity very soon. So remember to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss them. Speaking of which, if you found this video helpful, please remember to tap that like button. And if you have anything to say, say it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Also, don't forget about the discount that's going on. Find the link in the description below, or scan this QR code, 20% off every trade. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time. Thank you.